Ho! What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome to the back rooms. We finally got a good backrooms game over on itch.io. There's been a ton of them, but uh, this one this one looks like it's got a lot of really, really good potential. Uh, we're back as well. I took a day off of recording because I have a brand new PC that I built so that I can have a dual PC setup finally. So I don't have to worry about graphic settings in games. Uh, we'll get into the game shortly, but just want to explain it. Beforehand, I used to have to do crazy things just to make sure that the game would perform and my recording software as well would work with anything that I was doing and it was a nightmare scenario a lot of times especially like with nicer games and surprising a lot of indie games because not a lot of them are always optimized perfectly like a fully polished studio would do um, so I'm really happy finally to be able to get uh, these full recordings and have them be just an ease of use for me. Um, but what that also means is whenever I do my streaming, for those of you who are unaware, I stream over on twitch.tv slash Jacob Forster Plus. Uh, those links are in the descri description, but whenever I've been streaming, I've always had crazy technical issues because I'm trying to stream and play the game off of the same computer. And for anyone who might be in the streaming space, you know that can be a nightmare. <laughs> so I'm very happy to be kind of doing all this, but let's jump straight into the back rooms. Um, it, it had ray tracing settings, so I'm really curious to see how this is go. Huge company. I don't even know what they do exactly. First day on the job. I was supposed to go to the archives to sort out some documents. Oh, this is pretty loud. Oh, am I? Oh, I'm... <laughs> oh, I'm just playing. Oh, this looks... This looks great. The sensitivity is really high. Uh, I wonder if I can fix that. Uh, <laughs> controls? Yeah, sensitivity. I'll bring that down to like a five. Let's see if that's any better. Wham bam. Um, yes. <laughs> Resume. Okay, that's a little bit better. So what do we have here? Look at, look at that board meeting. Look at this amazing place. Okay. Put this docks in cabinets. Liminal spaces, disappears, abductions, glitches. Ooh, can I read this? No. Oh my gosh, you can sprint so fast. <laughs> okay, let's grab L for liminal spaces. Uh, I know the alphabet, it goes in here. Oh. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is getting right off to it! Oh no! Well then, I was expecting a little bit... Just a little bit of warning first! Oh no! Present torture? Why am I picking up pages? Oh no! <laughs> oh no, I don't want to be here! <laughs> oh, why do I. Mm mm! No, no, no! Oh no! Dang it! <laughs> is this like... Is this gonna be like Slenderman? Where I have to pick up all the pages? <gasps> Help. I'm lost. Oh no. I hear something. Oh, I hear something. The fall of voices doesn't feel like I should be listening to that. It's written in red crayon or blood. Saw the door but lost. Oh, 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 
Oh, there's... There's so many corners to look at! Oh, the chair is... Freaking out. Wait! What? Why can I drop papers? Seven? Seven? Oh, it's a trap. Oh, it's a trap! Okay, 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 okay. What is this? Work out for what? <laughs> okay, we gotta go. 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 Oh, okay, okay. We're going this way. Where's the smoke man? Where's the where's the smoke monster? <gasps> That's a nine or a six, but I don't know. So we got seven and then nine or six. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna keep running around. I'm just gonna keep running around. Okay, are there more creature monster things in here? I hope not. I hope it's just the smoke man. That's a dead end. Oh, that's a dead end. <laughs> I'm just sprinting. I'm just sprinting. This is not a good idea to sprint around like this. Oh, oh, I'm so lost. Oh. What? <laughs> Do I dare jump down? I dare. Too stunned to speak. Excuse me. Oh, I was like, where's my papers? <laughs> Don't worry, they're still on my person. Mm. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay. I wasn't sure if you could like break through the wall there. This this definitely feels like a procedurally generated um, world potentially. I mean that is kind of the whole nature of the back rooms, isn't it? So you don't really know what's going on, where you are. Oh, that's where I died last. Uh -huh. Got it. Got it. Got it. Note to self, don't... fall into holes. I hear the voices a little bit. I think they're over here. Yeah, it's over here. Oh, what the heck? What is this? Exit. Uh oh. I place a paper down. Oh, it's oh, it's your breadcrumbs. It's your breadcrumbs. This feels like a trap. Surprisingly, it's not. Oh! 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 Oh, oh, okay. 
So it's desk plus cabinet plus chair plus bottom thing. I'm gonna die if I go in here, right? No, not yet. Oh, oh, so cool. So cool. This is really cool. Um, so desk, cabinet, chair, bottom floor. Desk, chair, cabinet, bottom floor. I think that's what I need to remember. I just saw something else that I wanted to check out. I think it was over this way. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so that's the nine. So our code is nine something seven. Nine something seven. Nine something seven. Watch out for it. Oh, got it, got it. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what that said earlier. Nine something seven. What is that? There's that. I should probably leave a... a It's close, it's close. Crap, crap, crap. How close is it? Nine, five, seven something? Oh, 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 go, 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 go. No, 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 wrong way, that's not a good way. Nine, five. Uh, 957 something? 957 something. Crap, 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 crap. Here's the door. It? No, seven. <laughs> I gotta go. 957 something. Nine five seven four? Nine five seven four. That's it, that's it, that's it, we find it. Okay, I just gotta get out. I gotta get out. We gotta get out. Nine five seven four. Nine five seven four. I just gotta find. Okay, okay. Four, nine five seven four. Nine five seven four. Nine five seven four. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Your time, 11.03, game created by Simon Malachowski, based on the creepypasta meme. Sweet. If you like it or not, write a comment. There is still a lot of back rooms to explore. Oh, cool. I like that. That was, that was great. So something I did notice on the game here is let's see if there's anything after the credits first and foremost um mm, no okay <laughs> viewer discretion advised back rooms all right cool so one thing i noticed is in the option setting there is a i think i saw a difficulty setting somewhere yeah gameplay so i'm really curious <laughs> I'm not gonna go through this, but I'm really curious what expert would be like if it's just gonna be like nightmare nut mode or something. First day of a new job. Huge company. I don't even know what they do exactly. I was supposed to go to the archives to sort out some documents. Ah, welcome to the documents. Let's go to disappearance. D. Wow, I got so <laughs> I got so lucky getting the wrong one first, apparently. Glitches. Number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you want in your <laughs> No. 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 <laughs> okay, cool. Take a little sip of my coffee. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like the thing is just gonna chase me immediately. So I wanna see how quickly you you have to kind of get through. Or if maybe the uh, 
Maybe the whole back rooms is is more complicated, more complex. <sighs> I'm not too sure. I just I just want to check it out. One thing that really gets me in this five. Okay. Is the head bob, the left and right head bob. <laughs> it's a little disorienting, not gonna lie. Really adds to the whole aesthetic. Saw the door but lost. Got lost. Seven. Oh, it's, is it the same code every time? It must be, even on these more difficult modes. So I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if you could just very easily beat it on expert mode since you already know the code. That would be something great that this dev could put in for replayability. Um, gosh, I'm not going back there. <laughs> Is having uh, maybe a couple different versions of the room itself, of this entire back rooms, because it does seem to be uh, repeating itself. There's no change between playthroughs. Um, so something that they could do is kind of either change orientation, move around some of the walls, some of the placement of the items, and have it randomized between, let's say, like 10 different uh, world maps that you could potentially be thrown into. And then from that point as well, change the, uh, make the code different every single time, no matter what map you're thrown into. That way players have uh, a good way to have some replayability within this. Because this is a this is a really, really well done environment. Um, I think the difficulty setting, if I were to guess, is whatever engine they're using. Because it doesn't seem to be anything necessarily different here. Um, but they did mention that this game was built in a very short amount of time. I think it was done in like a seven day game jam of some sorts which is which is really cool it's, it's awesome the the kind of work that people are able to do in such a short amount of time with a lot of these games but uh yeah i think i think i want to know what happens when this guy grabs me he's really close so let's see <laughs> oh there he is <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back to the menu. <laughs> back rooms. That was great. That was really good. I really enjoyed that experience. I've already kind of given my uh, feedback for it, but I'd love to hear what you all thought. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Uh, any thoughts, feelings, or if you just want to say hi. And of course, if you're not sick and tired of me here yet on YouTube, you can always follow me on any of my other social channels like my Twitch. Twitter, Instagram, Discord, a bunch of other things, always listed in the description down below. And of course, uh, if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification as well, that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. But that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.